The lights have gone dark in late night TV studios as members of the Writers Guild of America go on strike. More than 11,000 film and television writers are demanding a new contract with the trade association that represents Hollywood studios and production companies. They're pushing for higher wages as inflation has significantly outpaced pay increases. Entertainment attorney and journalist Jonathan Handel joins me now. Jonathan, it's more complicated than that, though. Why is the WGA on strike? And you, can you give us a sense of some of the forces that are changing in the business that affect their position? Sure. It's a pleasure to be with you, John. Thank you. Uh, in one word, streaming. Streaming series, as most viewers know, are typically about 10 episodes, sometimes less per season uh, or per binge drop, as the case may be. <laughs> uh, the network standard uh, was 22 episodes. We have an enormous number of new series, but each series is shorter. The new series bring new writers into the system, but the shortness of the, uh, of the seasons means that there's less work for them to do. That's a, uh, an inherent disconnect in the labor market that's a very hard problem to resolve. And the effect of it has been this, the Writers Guild is looking for uh, guaranteed minimum staffing levels on these shows and is looking for guaranteed duration of employment so that writers can will, will make a guaranteed minimum, there's a minimum dollar set per week and per script. Uh, and in addition, so they will have the experience working uh, and doing production rewrites, working in post-production and can climb the career ladder the studios say that's not realistic. The studios and streamers, I should say, say that's not realistic in this new era uh, and that they are dancing to Wall Street's tune, which demands profits. They're spending billions of dollars working uh, to develop worldwide television networks, television channels. And the writers say, if you're going to spend billions of dollars building a platform based on our work product, you need to pay us fairly and make sure this is a sustainable job, a sustainable profession. And the writers say it isn't any longer. And help people understand what the lot for a writer is. I mean, so you're, because you might, people might think, well, you're connected to one of these fancy shows. They're amazing. Everybody's talking about your show. Isn't that really heady and great? But what you've described is you got 10 weeks and then maybe the show doesn't get picked up. Maybe it ends, the series ends. And then you don't know where your next gig is going to come from. That's right. The, the, the writers have said that the uh, studios are attempting to create a gig economy within a unionized workforce. This business has, uh, ever since the, the collapse of the so-called studio system, when the studios were factories, that ended really at the end of World War II. Um, ever since then, this has been a very gig-based business, but television was the exception because with 22 episodes in a season and each episode, you know, the employment period would be maybe 40 weeks, you, you know, you had a steady job once you had staffed onto a show. That's no longer the case. And what the Writers Guild says is, look, you've, the, the studios are destroying the ability of people to uh, be professional writers and to create the product that they're making this money on. All right, Jonathan Handel, thanks so much for being with us.